you are a property investing company or a builder, do not generate another lead until you watch this. Uh, my name is Kim Barra. I'm from Your Social Voice. We've been specializing in property investment and the building industry for the last seven years. Now, there's a couple of big things, and I'm going to jump onto my iPad and break this down for you guys, but there's a couple of big things that I find that a lot of not only property development and, uh, and building companies could leverage, any business could leverage, but there's two major things that I see that let them down when it comes to lead generation and also audience and audience targeting. So I just want to share my screen. I'm going to jump in and show you exactly what that is. So here we go. Now, the biggest one that I find is that when it comes to leads, a lot of property, property companies get an inquiry. It comes through. They try and call maybe once maybe SMS, maybe email. And what happens is if they don't get that touch point in the first week, this first lead that comes through, this person who wanted to buy what it is that they have ends up getting erased, like getting forgotten about and they're on to the next person, which again is unfortunate because we all know that it takes multiple touch points, multiple interactions for you to be able to get them to get through the point where they have their first qualifying call to when they then have their first sit down to when they first then become a sale. So there's a whole process involved in that. And that means that you've got to have really consistent salespeople, which I find very hard to find across any industry, really consistent follow-ups, or you've got to have a system that does it all for you. Now, if you have a system that does it all for you, even better. But what we've discovered is that if you can tie in AI, now a lot of people are talking about AI. They're saying how good it is, how amazing it is. Uh, for research, for typing in words, blah, blah, blah. That's all well and good. But what we have found is that if you can tie in AI and build a sales force that works 24-7, that doesn't ask for breaks, that doesn't give up, that is where you can win. And tying in uh, the right CRM and tying in AI, you can actually build a sales force that works without you, that follows up, that will consistently send SMS, send email and not only will they send sms if they have a question they can answer it if they have a response they can track it what that means is that time to inquiry that you've got all the time spending your salespeople on is dramatically reduced and they can just focus on their calls they can just focus on that core outcome that you want them to do which is ultimately bring you deals and you let the system do the rest now, as I said, this is relatively new. A few of our clients in the property space are doing it. But again, how long is it going to last? I don't know until all your competitors are doing it. So the sooner you can implement and apply this, the better. Now, then there's audience. A lot of people, you know, when they start to run ads, whether they run it for themselves or other people, they use obviously Facebook, Instagram targeting. And one of the things that they miss out on, that they miss out on dramatically is what we like to call in market segments. Now, this is really big when you play on Google. However, if you use the right data provider, you can actually leverage all of these on Facebook and Instagram as well. So using big data is not just for those one or two companies that can afford to pay for it, like Google, where they've got that big leverage. You really can actually create that in a, in a business, like a small business, medium-sized business, and bring that across to Facebook and Instagram, which means that as well, if you've got in-market segment data for people that are looking for property and investments, guess what? And all of your competitors are focused on a couple of one, two, three, maybe four audiences that they're using. You're actually able to differentiate and hit a different segment of the market because when you've got, this is say this is all the investors or people that want to build a house, right? Everyone's bidding for the same portion of the pie. There might be this much that you can bid for conversions on, right? But there's, you know, two thirds that's there, but you don't know how to target them. You don't know how to get in front of them because everyone's bidding for the same keywords, the same options, the same outcomes. If we can flip that around and create your own market in market segments that are completely customized, that not everyone else is using, that are actually out there searching for investments, it means that, again, we can get a either a higher volume of leads or we can get a better price or better quality. Now, don't get me wrong. All of these things aren't applicable immediately. You're not going to be able to immediately roll all of these into your business and get phenomenal results with. 
You can, but likelihood of that happening all immediately is very slim to none. Yes, you can hire help. You could hire us to help. You could hire um, other people to help you roll these out in your business. But it will take about 90 days to smooth out all the kinks, to make sure that it all works because, yes, AI is good. It does need to be trained. Yes, data is good. It needs to be gathered. It needs to be implemented. It needs to be tested. Um, yes, having a sales force that never sleeps is great, but you have to train them how to not sleep first. You have to build out all those systems and processes. If you don't have the right CRM, you need to implement it in there. All of these things need to be taken into consideration. But if you do these, this is a way for you, number one, to solve what most people have, which is a problem with their leads and their follow-up and their sales process. And number two, tap into a market that is not already heavily marketed to, not already overseeing all the same marketing messages from the same property investment companies and seeing all the competitors, but allows us to have marketing that cuts through the noise a little bit and segregates and separates them out. And then the last final piece, a little bit of a bonus, is that most people don't talk about their uniqueness. Right, what makes them stand out from everyone else? And if you can tie in a little bit of education, a little bit of content, a little short video explaining how you are different to everyone else, how your methodology for the method of investment for them is slightly different, very slightly different in your approach. Again, all this means is that this feeds into this, which then feeds into this which is the beautiful circle of life, right? Everything feeds each other. The more leads you get, the more ideas you can have for content and front end, front end uh, pieces of information as well. So if this has been helpful for you and you've enjoyed this, hopefully you have, hopefully it's given you some ideas. If you do need help, feel free, drop us a message, um, uh, inquire below, click the button, whatever it is. And uh, if you need help, we're here to help you. If you don't need help, awesome, go out and do this as well. Hopefully this has given you a few little tips on what you can do to grow your property investment company. Till next time, I'm Kim. You're all awesome. Adios. Chat soon.